All right, this is my Nandichromatis female. She's about four inches. Her name is Nikita, and I'm feeding her a locust. It's a decent sized meal for her. Whoa. Whoa, she flipped over. Good girl. Stunning spider. Alright, cool. Here's my smaller Acanthoscuria geniculata. Good job. I love these geniculatas. They're great eaters, as you saw with my bigger one earlier, or in the last feeding video. Here's my Siri Cosmos Rattay Juvie. Good job. Cute little tea. I can't wait until it um, grows even bigger. You can just see it there. Alright, cool. I'm going to give this one some um, water and then we'll move on. This is Dave, the presumed male sea elegance. Good job, Dave. Alright, cool. Here's my grandma's little pulchra sling. Damn it, it just went under the hide. Oh, good job, little guy. I love this little sling. It was my second tarantula ever. Alright, cool. Alright, so I went to feed my Avicularia Avicularia and um, it turns out that she is actually molted, so I'm going to take this cricket out. I don't want it going in and disturbing her. It's kind of hard to see her molt. It's kind of in her web tunnel, but I'm going to get it out now and we can maybe sex it. Because I think she's a girl, but I'm not 100% sure. So I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Alright, so I have recovered the malt. Um, yeah, I cut off the back legs to make it easier. Um, and I've um, wet the abdomen to uh, be able to spread it out to see it better. Um, this is what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it might be a female. I think that might look like a spermatheke, but I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of hard to uh, to record because my camera won't focus on something so small. But um, I might uh, check the actual tarantula and, you know, see if I see any signs of it being a mature male because if it isn't a mature male, then there's a good chance it's a female because it would have matured at this size. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I'm sorry I can't get any better footage of it. I'm actually really itchy after um, fixing that avic malt to try sex it, which I find kind of funny because I've been hands-on with Nandu and Therophosa malts before and I didn't get this reaction, it's just the avic, which is kind of funny. <laughs> But anyway, um, this is my wonderful interior decorator, B. Smithy, who likes to just mess up everything, basically. Uh, the substrate is a bit wet because it keeps overturning water dishes. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to fix up this enclosure and then I'm going to feed this girl. Alright, here's Smithy and Smithy's Cricket. No, oh, no, don't go in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, okay, the cricket has gone into this hole. Um, that's not good. Uh, give me a sec. <laughs> Alright, I got the cricket.
Go on, girl. Oh, good job. Her enclosure's still a bit of a mess, but I'm going to try to fix it up as best I can. Alright, cool. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, here's my extremely fast Theraphosis Termi Sling. It's just been uh, kind of running around its enclosure. Um, great feeding response, so this should be good. Whoa! Kind of overshot the mark there, buddy. That was so cool, I literally jumped from here all the way over to here. There we go. Great feeding response on this little guy. <laughs> Great tea. Thought my stormy was fast, well uh... Here's a news flash, this tarantula is extremely fast, probably the fastest tarantula I have. Stunning little tarantula though, um, I think it's a female. I'm not 100% sure, but the molt looked female, but it is kind of still small. This is the Abloa species, Columbia Large, so it's got a good few inches to go. Just kind of grab the cricket. Come here. This cricket really doesn't want to get eaten. Got it. <laughs> Alright. Well, good job. I love this tarantula. I think the colours are amazing. I am just going to give this one some water and then we'll go on to the next one. Alright, here we've got Jenny, the subadult female at Ejibla. <laughs> I can't scare you, Nikolata. Um, I would be feeding her a locust, but um, I checked, I only have two locusts left, so I'm going to leave those for the biggest teas. So I'm just going to throw her in a couple of crickets instead. This girl has probably the best feeding response out of all my teas. She goes mad for food. So um, I'm just going to drop them in and let her get them herself. These crickets are hard to pick up with these tongs. Alright, there's one. Come here. There's another one. I'll try her with one more. There she goes. And there is Jenny with three crickets in her mouth. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a good angle. There we go. Three crickets. <laughs> oh, good job, girl. All right, cool. Let's go on to the next one. All right, here is my unsexed green bottle blue juvenile. Who's very speedy, he's just been kind of running around the enclosure. I'm just gonna drop the cricket on the web. Whoa. Oh, good job. You can see the cricket there. This one's finally started webbing this enclosure. Um, I moved into this enclosure a couple months ago and it's finally kind of started webbing a little bit, so that's good. Beautiful spider, I can't wait until it uh, grows up. Colours when it's mature are absolutely gorgeous. Alright, here we've got my uh, juvie female Gramistole Hiringi, Cassie. Named after my friend because she wanted a tarantula named after her. <laughs> She's a gorgeous girl. I'm taking after the smithy though and uh, emptying the water dish. It's pretty speedy for a Gramistole, but uh, I'm going to go straight out this water dish. <laughs> Alright, cool. Here we have Ruby, my atlas species red adult female, who somehow has decided, well she hasn't decided, but somehow Mold has decided to uh, grow in her enclosure even though it's completely dry, so I'm not really sure how that happened. So I'm going to sort that Mold out and then I will feed her. I have removed all the visible Mold, but I'm probably going to just change her full substrate anyway. Um, I've had to take my Lassidora Parabana out of its enclosure completely because the whole thing was just covered in mould. It must have just been a bad substrate batch, I suppose. But um, I'm going to change any enclosures that I use that substrate for. But anyway, here is a locust for Ruby.
She knows it's there. Good girl. She's actually a great eater. I mean, this species kind of has a reputation for not being the best eaters, but um, she's actually doing pretty well. It's a pretty big meal for her. You see, she's uh, subdued it. I don't know if she's doing a web dance. Good girl. All right, cool, let's go on to the next one. Here is my grandma Stola Portieri. Good girl. She's a sweetheart. These are uh, pretty common teas, but I think she's an absolutely beautiful tea. I really do like the uh, the rose hairs. Glad she's eaten now as well, because she wasn't eaten for a while, for a couple months there. But uh, she's eaten now. All right, cool, let's go on to the next one. All right, so I've sorted out the mold in my LP's enclosure, so hopefully it won't mold again. And of course the cricket is not playing ball today. I don't really want the LP to get out, but uh, I'm gonna have to move the hide. Sorry. I'm not sure if it'll eat considering I just rehoused it, but um, it might. Okay, it just runs straight over to the LP. <laughs> Come on, cricket, move, I dare you. Good job. I'm going to try to see if he wants the second one as well. Yep. Oh wait, no. Well, he bit the second one. He's, well, he or she didn't actually get it though. I don't know if he can fit two crickets in his mouth. Seems to want both of them anyway, so I'll just leave them both in there and it will eat them. Alright, cool. This is the aftermath of feeding all the crickets. I was gonna have a couple of legs falling off. <laughs> Poor crickets. Anyway, um, I'm down to my last two locusts, so I'm gonna feed my two big teas, Stella and Isis. I've been recording for a good 10 minutes. And the locust is still not being eaten. determined for this girl to eat. It's in the corner, it's so easy for you to get. Look, she seems to want this, she's just not going for it. I don't know, like it's been a good two months since she was a vermictopus and they usually have great appetites so I'm not really sure why she's not going for it. Well, she is going for it, she's just not taking it down. <sighs> it's a shame. I had recorded Isis for about ten minutes but she just wasn't eaten so I um, guess we'll finish this up with Stella, my favourite tarantula, my adult female P. Cambridge who molted about two weeks ago.
Whoa. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. I do not envy that locust right now. Absolutely stunning tarantula. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Stella has retreated into her little um, tunnel thing to eat her meal and um, yeah that attack kind of shows why she's my favourite. <laughs> and that ladies and gents wraps up this tarantula feeding video.